time now for Dr. Hillary's open surgery on the menopause. And our first question is from Sarah this morning. Hello, Sarah. Now, Sarah was, is 49, was diagnosed with the menopause after a blood test, and her question relates to the treatment of that. Hello, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, good morning, both. It's lovely to see you. Um, it's just a really a quick question. I know I'm not the only woman. Um, I cannot take HRT because of um, my family history of cancer. So is there any, any alternative I can take, please? OK, what are your main symptoms? What are the worst of your symptoms? <laughs> terrible, well, terrible tiredness. And I have the same sort of attitude at the moment as my 14-year-old because <laughs> my mood swings are Understood. so high and low. Can't... Understood. OK, well, yeah, it's... first of all, if you can't take HRT, there are plenty of alternatives. For things like hot flushes and night sweats, there's a treatment called clonidine, which helps to stabilise the blood vessels which are affected by falling oestrogen levels. It's usually used for high blood pressure, but it's very good for these symptoms of the menopause, where we're talking particularly about hot flushes. Also, if the mood swings are bad, there are two, at least two antidepressants, which can be really good. And not they, they don't just alter your mood swings, but they're very good for the hot flushes as well. So talk to your doctor about those two things. I think they could make a big difference for you. Thank you for your question. Thank you, Thank Sarah. You very much.